All right, so whenever you look at fiber cement board or any exterior siding, I want you to always think like water. Just think about how water travels and your siding has to be 100% watertight. If it's not 100% watertight, it has a problem. It can't even be 99.9% .9 watertight. That 0.1% of water coming to your house will cause some serious damage. Let me just walk you through some of the areas I saw, throw in some nice music and check it out. When they installed this hose bib right here, the hose bib uh, wasn't tape flashed properly and so if any water comes in and makes it in this little crevice right here, it's going to cause some uh, water damage to the property. This is a perfect example um, of how not to do it. I was wrong, I can't show you how it's supposed to be done, but the way it should be is you do a bottom tape flashing, a tape on the side, and then a tape on the top. So if you have this, water will actually make it through this little crevice right here. That was a good one. Um, I'm really glad uh, my clients or the clients chose me or chose a home inspector to come out and uh, take a look at this one on this phase two inspection because that composite fiber cement board is not properly set in. And they might be okay with the way they're gonna seal it up and paint it and caulk it everywhere for like four, you know, four or five years. But as soon as all that stuff starts to break apart, water will start to make it in the property. So it's really important to have these phase two inspections done or just get another set of eyes on it. That's the most important part, just another set of eyes so uh that's that's chris with a action you have any home inspection questions please give us a call and please like and share the videos thanks guys bye